Welcome to JAM, Jesus and Me, Heritage United Church's Children's Ministry Online. Join us each week for a game, a story, a craft. It's sure to be a fun time. Let's get going. to jam Jesus and me on this second Sunday of Lent. That's right, we are into the second week of Lent already. And this week, we continue our journey hearing another story from the Old Testament of Bible. This is again a story before the time of Jesus. This is a story about an elderly couple who God made a very special promise to. How many of you know elderly people in your lives? I bet you they have some great stories to share. And maybe you are one of these elderly people listening to me right now during our time of jam, and you probably have some great stories that you could share with the younger folk in your family of the amazing adventures you've been on, of time you've maybe spent in Sunday school Probably not virtually like this, but let us hear now our story of Abraham and Sarah and the amazing journey they had with God. Our story, Abraham and Sarah. Abram prayed, God, you promised Sarah and I we would have a baby. We're very old now. We still don't have a baby. Did you forget your covenant? Did you change your promise? God spoke to Abram. Don't be afraid. I haven't forgotten my covenant. You will have a baby. Abram was frustrated. When, God? How long do we have to wait? God told Abram, go outside. Abram rolled out of bed and rubbed his eyes. He walked outside. Look up. Count all the stars in the sky, God said. Abram frowned. God, no one can count the stars. There are too many. God's voice was gentle. Abram, there are millions of stars in the sky. One day, millions of people will call you their father. Abram gulped. Millions of children won't fit in my tent. God laughed. It will be many generations of people. You won't see them all during your life. Abram, I'm giving you a new name. God continued. From now on, your name is Abraham, which means father of many. 
Sari will be called Sarah, which means millions of, which someday millions of people will call her their mother. Abraham trusted God. God would keep this covenant. God does not break promises. And that is our story of Abraham and Sarah and the special promise that God made to them. One of the special things that God did for Abram and Sarai was God changed their names and gave them very special names, Abraham and Sarah. And they would be, become known as father and mother of many generations of people. Today, we're gonna to play a game. It's a name a scavenger hunt, that's right. Now, you can choose to do this outside or inside. I'll leave that up to you and your families to decide how you wanna do this. But what you have to do is for every letter of your name, you have to go and find one item. Whoever finds the items first wins our scavenger hunt. Now, to make this fair, if you have a shorter name than the person you're playing with, I would suggest that you take some of the letters from your last name as well, so that you're both looking for the exact same amount of things, okay? So for me, this is what I did. I did mine inside, and my name, of course, is Lori, and my name is spelled L-O-R-R-I-E. So these are the things I found. L for lion. I found a little lion in the cupboard. O for orange. R for ribbon. R for a restroom sign. Sure, it works. I for ink, the ink in my pen. And E for an earring. See what you can find to go with your name in our name scavenger hunt, because your name is special too. Have fun. Our craft for today has to do with when Abraham went outside his tent and God told him to look up and count the stars in the sky because that's how many people would be his descendants in generations to come. And so what I did was I went and found a Abraham figure online. So you could make your own one to color. I already, mine had three here, so I already used one of them. You want to color it with whatever colors you think that Abraham would wear. And I made some stars. You could use stickers. And then I made a backdrop because, of course, it was nighttime. So here I've got it. I've got my yellow and blue and red stars that I glued on. I've colored my Abraham. And I've got him on some grass that he's left his tent at the nighttime. A reminder of all the descendants that God promised to Abraham. And that is the craft for today. Have fun making your own. Thank you for joining me once again on JAM. We learned all about Abraham and Sarah and the special relationship that they had with God, how special their names are, and just how special that each and every one of us are too. Your name is special, so is mine. I hope you've had fun, but before we go, let's fold our hands and close our eyes and repeat after me as we share in our closing prayer for this time together. Dear God, you have chosen each of us and given us a special name. You have blessed us and made us who we are. And we thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me on JAM. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.